hi guys I'm precious and you're welcome to my kitchen today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an amazing one pot dish called potato hot pot in Cameroon it's a one pot dish of potatoes chicken vegetables you know the potatoes are stewed it is so 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 good I can't wait to show you guys so let's go over the ingredients and then we can cook so we have here the potatoes you need about 20 to 25 uh, medium-sized potatoes i'm so excited when it's this time of the year because i get to get um, these potatoes from the farmer's market these potatoes are really special because they're very similar to the ones that you would buy back home in cameroon they are not so watery when they are cooked on the inside they are dry actually very dry what we call in cameroon banso potatoes so i really really love it i always look forward to this time of the year and i buy like a lot and i save for a couple of months you know so now we have here some tomatoes um, six tomatoes medium size also then I have one um, large almost large onion <laughs> then I have some garlic and some ginger um, you actually need about six cloves of garlic and an inch of ginger which I already blended some and I'm going to show you guys in a bit now I am one sprig of basil you know so the basic the idea is just to blend all of this together into a paste now we have here our vegetables green bell pepper one large carrot some green beans about 15 green beans two stems of green onions salt uh, maggi three seasoning cubes so maggi my white pepper which i really like you guys know that then i have right here one cup of vegetable oil no not vegetable oil canola oil because it's cholesterol free so these days i mostly go with canola oil you could use any oil of choice maybe corn oil peanut oil you know or vegetable oil if you don't mind okay right here is my chicken i have a, a very small cute chicken here <laughs> it's about a four pound chicken and it's actually the hard kind of chicken we we'll call it african chicken because it's quite hard not very soft so I'm going to be cutting this up and using it to cook our potato hot pot so so delicious you guys so let's start cooking so uh, the first thing I'm doing is cutting up my chicken into pieces and if you don't want to go with chicken you could use beef or you could even use pork um, if you don't want to go with meat you could use fish you could use shrimp you know you could even use turkey you know really depends on what your preferences are my chicken is all cut so I'm going to rinse it thoroughly and put in a pot okay this is my chicken all washed you know so I'm just going to add in about half a cup of water not much because I don't want to dilute the stock too much and I want just a little stock so I get to use everything that chicken stock is everything I tell you it makes the food taste so so good so this is my mixture of garlic ginger some basil and parsley so this the only thing missing here is the parsley just because I don't have more left at home I love making a blend like this this is an old popcorn container that I repurpose into my spice blend mix I love doing this you know just take a day in a week and I make a big cup of this and I can use it for I've had this now for over a week and you see it's not going anywhere yet so <laughs> it really helps you know when I'm cooking I just I don't have to start blending spices I just you know grab the container and put a few spoons, spoonfuls of the spices so I've put in the two teaspoons of this then I'm going to put in some salt some white pepper I love white pepper you guys if you don't have white pepper in your kitchen I'm actually commanding you to go get some you know whole white pepper then you could get a grinder like this maybe online or the kitchen section of a grocery store so you can put some freshly ground white pepper into whatever you're cooking I tell you guys it's divine so I'm going to cover this and put on medium heat to cook it's time to start peeling our potatoes I could use a potato cleaner for this but I'm just going with my small knife you know just up the edge and I take off the skin nutritionists say that 
you can you should actually eat your potatoes in jacket that you shouldn't peel them before eating because we need the skin they have a lot of nutrients as I yeah but we grew up you know eating already peeled potatoes my mom once tried to make us eat potatoes that have not been peeled and my god it was not going we didn't like it one bit there I'm going to grab a big one now if you can't find small potatoes like me you could go with big ones and you just cut them you may cut one into four into six you know depending on the sizes you want but try to always make the sizes the same so they cook evenly so some don't get you know ready while others are still cooking you want them to be about the same size so they cook evenly now this one is much more bigger than the rest of my potatoes so what I'm going to do is just you know curl it in two so it's about the same size so my potatoes are all peeled and I've washed them thoroughly this is what they look like uh, I just feel happy when I see potatoes like this you know because they look so much different from the ones you normally get from the grocery store so I'm just putting them oops, <laughs> in my pan here I'll put water to about midway the potatoes you know then a little bit of salt if you've watched my pole deje video potato hot pot is a lot like pole deje you know just different components that you have to make them come together with time a little bit more salt now this goes so cooking I'm going to boil this but you don't want to over boil you want it to be you know when it's just ready I'll take it out because if it is so soft it's going to break and if it is so hard and it's making my like grish grish when you're turning it it's just not good so I want it to be soft creamy and nice but not too soft so I'm going to let this you know put it on high heat when it starts boiling I'll turn it to medium and then I'll let that cook properly while that is happening I'm going to face my vegetables you guys and I'm starting here with my tomatoes and onions so many things to be chopped I, I think I spent a great part of my life just chopping things I remember my neighbor telling me once you like chopping things <laughs> because I love meals with vegetables you know when you have carrots green beans um, green onions and stuff then I don't have to struggle to maybe eat a salad or something to just make sure I've had vegetables for that day I love eating a complete meal with vegetables protein um, carbs and everything so I know that I don't have to struggle for that so I'm just chopping I think I should just roughly chop this then I'm going to pass it through my blender just so that it's a little pasty sorry guys my microphone battery died so I'm going to be doing a voiceover for a part of the video I'm just pouring my blended tomatoes into a bowl and setting that aside I'll move on now to my onion which I'm going to chop now that my onion is all chopped I'm just going ahead and chopping my green onions which by the way smells so so good I'm moving on now to my carrot and I'm just scraping off the skin on the back lightly then I'm going to go ahead and chop this and the way I love doing this is just you know giving it a kind of slanty look just because I love it and to me it looks appealing and you can see my pot of chicken boiling away at the back I actually cooked that chicken in total for about 20 minutes or so so now that I've cut the carrot you know into big pieces I'm going in to cut them into little slants if I would say <laughs> so the next thing to be chopped here are my green beans or runner beans if you like so I'm just cutting the tips of the beans then I'm going to go ahead and chop them you know to have that slanty feel just like the carrots so the next thing I'm working with is my bell pepper. I'm actually going to be using about a third of that bell pepper. So I'm just going in and deseeding it, removing all the seeds from the inside. 
it smells so so good <laughs> then i'm going to go ahead and chop that just chop 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 away all my veggies are chopped just see how pretty they are right now my potatoes are ready they are perfect so i have my oven tray which i lined to the bottom with aluminium foil i'm just going to go ahead and brush the top with some oil because i'm actually going to be putting the potatoes in the oven and i don't want them to stick so now that i've brushed with oil i'm going in with my potatoes and i have my oven preheated set to broil broil or grill now my potatoes are going into that oven that just helps to give it a nice crust and it's going to stay there for about 10 minutes so right now i have my pan prepared for making the stew i'm just adding in my oil and when it heats up i'm going to add in the onions my oil is nice and hot so in goes the onion and it gave me that sizzle which i really really like <laughs> onions cook for about three minutes i'm going to go in with my tomatoes my onion is nicely sauteed so right now i'm going to add in my tomatoes and i'm going to let this cook until the tomatoes start sticking to the bottom of the pot that way you know they are ready meanwhile my potatoes broiled for 10 minutes so I'm just putting my potatoes into this pan now onto the same pan I'm going to add my chicken and let it sit under the broiler for 10 minutes you sure okay I have all my chicken here so this is going to go in there for 10 minutes wow I'll be checking my tomatoes just a few more minutes and these will be all done meanwhile I'm going to take out my chicken uh, look at that my tomatoes are all done look at what they look like oh my god so so good now i'm going to go in with another heaping teaspoon of my garlic ginger and herbs blend now when i put my spices into oil like this it always gives it a very good flavor i love doing this as opposed to just plunging them maybe into stock or something you know when you put spices into hot oil it brings out a really really nice flavor which I just love so much mm, I wish you guys could smell this amazing now I'm going to go in with the little chicken stock I have from that chicken let's give that a nice stir this is the point where I add in my salt not too much salt because our chicken stock has salt so about a quarter teaspoon of salt now I'm going to add in my stock cubes or maggi or no <laughs> so I'm adding in three of those going to give that a nice stir at this point if you love it really watery you could add in some a little bit more water if you like you know I'm going to see if I need to I'm actually going to add in just uh, about a quarter cup of water just to be sure that it's not very dry you know it's a little moist and really good that is looking good so I'm going to add in my green onions stir carrot and green beans that looks amazing tell me why I wouldn't want to eat this with rice so so good mix 
I don't like cooking my vegetables. So once you see the vegetables going in, no food is almost ready. <laughs> I love leaving them so crunchy, so I don't kill up, kill the nutrients by cooking them. Now my chicken. If you love hot some heat, you add it like when I'm adding the spices, you're adding some ground um, scotch bonnet pepper or habanero or chili pepper or you know whatever hot pepper you want <laughs> or cayenne pepper so but I'm not doing that in goes my potatoes good things happening here you guys now I'm just going to mix this on so being careful not to break the potatoes you know sometimes I'll cover my pot and shake nicely gently so everything mixes nicely together can you see how lovely that looks tell me why you wouldn't want to make this give me one good reason why just make sure that everything is well coated in that sauce, the vegetables. Mm, that is beautiful. So, so I'm my mouth is watering already, you guys. So I'm going to turn off the heat at this point. It's ready because I don't want those vegetables to overcook. I love when they are still bright green and crunchy. You're sure that all the nutrients are still in there. So let's go for the taste test. So, going to go right into this and see. So I can tell you guys if it tastes really good. <laughs> mm. Look at that deliciousness is served, you guys. I can barely wait. <laughs> it's going to break in. So my potatoes nice and soft on the inside slightly crusty on the outside mm. so add some of those crunchy vegetables my god just the way I wanted it the vegetables are fresh crunchy it is so so tasty absolutely delicious that chicken flavor is everything I could eat this every day like I said I love meals like this because everything is in one pot the vegetables are there you know the protein is there um, the carbohydrate is there so I don't need to eat this and try to eat um, maybe a salad to make up for the nutrition everything is in one pot it is so easy to make so so delicious so good i hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me for the full recipe as always go to my blog preciouscore.com if you loved this video be sure to give me a thumbs up um like share with your friends so other people can be blessed by this and if you've not subscribed to my channel yet be sure to take a minute and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye